Hello, my name is Menzi Mkonta and welcome to the Menzi Mkonta podcast. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about a recent case study I did on E3 Youth Development Hub. So um, this was basically my first gig as a brand strategist and it was very interesting um, to do the discovery session and it was quite interesting to also find out more insights about their business and about their business model uh, which helped them further to grow their brand and also the reason why i'm also doing this case study is to also show you the types of flaws that i personally um went through um so yeah uh, i'm going to be reading uh, i wrote this down so um this is e3 youth hub the case study e3 youth hub is a small business incubator for up-and-coming entrepreneurs and after being part of the pilot program i then decided to stay and help in whichever way i can uh, creatively and coming up with uh, a graphic design sort of style and posters soon after realizing that i was not designing with a clear direction of what the posters and designs are supposed to do in the market they were trying to attract so we then had a brief meeting with the founders and in that meeting one of their goals were to get more people in the program to maximize the influence that a business incubator might have in one of our meetings i came there with bags full of solutions that might help e3 grow such as content creation social media advertising merchandise and field marketing which were all really really fantastic ideas and after the meeting i then realized that i was not bringing enough value to the founders but i added more questions as to how to make the youth youth hub vibey and represent the use of mobile so then the problem that i also discovered was that i was screaming at them with marketing solutions which is a selling mentality what i should have done was to whisper at them with more questions but rather high value questions like why do you think like this how can we make this better and what can we do to make more of the mobile youth come to the space uh, which would have made me more empathetic to their goals as founders people and as business owners which re- which would result in the implement in the impact and influence so long story short after that meeting one of the founders realized that e3 could be a creative hub seeing that the first and second program were more creatives than business people or entrepreneurs who are focused on the logical side of business the youth hub then pivoted into becoming an incubator for creative businesses in the city of mobella the point of this case study is to illustrate that as a brand strategist and experts sometimes we bring solutions to the table that do not align with their business goals however we are facilitators of conversations that may lead the founders ceos and many like to figure out the problem themselves then as people who do design thinking we break down the problem and find more problems that lead us to better solutions the outcome that e3 has been um it's been a, a very very fantastic uh brand that's been alive for over a year the founders got introduced into collaboration a build and building a center that does not only incubate but also allows creatives to co-work in one center uh, there's a famous quote that states innovation focuses on i mean <laughs> innovation is messy and not linear and i think to some extent it's a true representation of what e3 youth hub is which is a self-directed learning uh, program which focuses on personal development and the constant flow of new ideas no matter how crazy they are 
with some validation or none e3 offers a different educational platform where you are enlightened educated and empowered so yeah so that was basically e3 in the nutshell and what i've also found in 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 the program was that uh, sometimes as creative entrepreneurs um, back to personal development we forget that we need to actually work on ourselves before we implement new ideas and as people we need to empathize with other people we need to feel what they feel in order to find out their goals and what do they want out of this um, um, meeting or what or out of the session you know hence why i i i i I referred to as a brand strategist you become a facilitator of a conversation or in some cases you become a therapist you know so if it if it hadn't been for this conversation that the founders and i had we would not went into e3 becoming a creative business incubator Thank you for listening to this podcast. My name is Menzim Kwanza.